All right, friends, so in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a pattern haul as well as a fabric haul. So the patterns are from Butterick, Vogue, and I believe I have a couple of indie patterns that I want to share with you as well that I purchased from Fabric Mart Fabrics, and I have a huge fabric haul as well. So if that is interesting to you, stick around and I will share with you these two hauls. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with the Butterick patterns because I just recently picked up the Butterick patterns. Um, I believe they went on sale about two weeks ago. And the first Butterick pattern I picked up is this swim uh, suit set here. So you have a, a combination of different uh, swimwear here. This is the Butterick B4526. And the size range for this particular pattern goes from six to 14 and then 14 to 20. So I got the size 14 to 20. And so that's the envelope EE. And again, it's Butterick B4526. And it's this pattern here. It's um, not a new pattern. So this is a relatively older pattern of Butterick. So um, as you can see, you just have uh, different views or different uh, styles here of a swimsuit. So views A and C are going to be the closest in terms of uh, what that swimsuit has to offer. It's just um, just a, a body swimsuit suit. Uh, views A have this little slit here in the um, bust area around the neckline. And view C, you don't have that. Now for the back of the pattern for view A and, uh, what is it, A and C here, it's basically a scooped back here. So I think that's really cute. And then you have this little cover up here, which I think is really interesting. Now here's the art illustration for that view. And as you can see, it's basically just a, a square for the body part of the garment. And then for the neckline, you have these little ties here. So this is going to be super easy, most likely for your beginners and advanced beginners. You also have uh, various um, swim trunks here or panties and you have a um, a bra and then also a cover-up so I really like this pattern and I hope to maybe make this soon I thought that I would make it this year but I don't know if I'll be able to make it this year with all the sewing plans that I already currently have in queue I also picked up this pattern here, which is the Butterick B6800. It's also a pattern that has two size groupings. I picked up the size 16 to 22, which is an FF. So the pattern is FF. Um, it has uh, different variations of a pair of uh, jeans. So this is a jean pattern. And as you can see here from the art illustration, you can make a very simple and easy version where you have um, pockets in the front. You have a waistband that has um, a button on the waistband. You have a zipper for your fly. You have back pockets and then you have your front and back pieces. So it's not too detailed. I would say this is maybe for your advanced beginners. Uh, you also have uh, different variations here that you can make. This view here, E, is probably going to be the easiest because uh, you. I think this is a mock fly for view E. I'm not for certain. Um, but you also have uh, slanted pockets. You don't have to put the pockets on the back of the pants. And it's calling for denim and stretch woven fabrics. I also picked up the Butterick B6326. Again, the size grouping um, I chose is the 16 to 24. The 16 is going to be closest to my waistline. Um, I picked this pattern up for views A and D. I like the panels on this skirt. You have uh, two different length variations. Um, it's a pencil skirt. Uh, which is really cute, I think. Uh, for view B, you have a little slit in the back of your of your skirt there. And then there's the option to make view C or B, which are just, um, just regular skirts. And I believe, 
yeah, it's a gathered skirt with a with an elastic waistband. So this is also very easy. And I, like I said, I picked it up for views A and B because I want to have a pencil skirt that have these panels in it. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and talk about the Vogue patterns that I picked up now. So this is the first Vogue pattern that I, I uh, picked up and it's the Vogue Easy V9008. It comes in two different size groupings. So you can get the six to 14 or the 14 to 22. It is an easy pattern and you have uh, different variations that you can choose. I picked this pattern up because I saw Alex, she goes by a Mason Lifestyle here on uh, YouTube. She featured this pattern in her one of her videos and I thought, wow, that would be a really great uh, pattern. And if I were to make any of these, I would probably make view C or F. Um, I don't really like thigh high shorts, but I would do C or F. And yeah, so that's why I picked that up. I really like the back waistband here. And also it has a yoke in the back, which is really fun. You have some soft pleats and you also have a, for your closure, you're going to have um, your fly front zipper and that's for all variations. And the fabrics that they're calling for are a silk to pawnee, lightweight denim, linen, and poplin fabrics. I picked up this pattern here, which is the Vogue V9155. Also come in two uh, different size groupings. So the first group of sizes are uh, 4 to 12, and then the second is 12 to 20. And I got the 12 to 20. I It's been a long time since I've actually seen the category of sizes start with a 12. It's usually a 14 or a 16, so that's um, interesting. <laughs> Uh, you have three different variations of a pair of slacks. You have uh, view A is a cropped pair. Um, and then also for views um, B and C, you have uh, longer versions of the pants, but you also have for view A and B, you have slanted pockets. You can use lightweight wool flannel, stretch gabardine, ponty knit, or crepe fabrics for this. From the latest Vogue collection, I picked up the Vogue V1893. So if you saw my recent Vogue video where I talked about the new collection, I did say I was gonna get this pattern. Um, I really do like the skirt and I like the shorts. I think I would actually like to lengthen the shorts a little bit, even um, make some alterations and make pants, just simply because I like I really like the pocket style here. Um, on this pattern and I would like to see these as pants so I really like the skirt and I would like to make the skirt if I were to make the bralette I would actually make the bralette to go over top a button up front a button up um, shirt which I think would be really cute so this pattern is rated as average it's stating that it is a close fitting line bra top with cups that have seams on the front. You have contrast edge stitching and top stitching, a separating zipper for the back. And you have also a high rise semi fitted shorts have po front pockets with reverse construction bands. And you also have um, button trim and also uh, back darts for the uh, pair of pants. And you will also be doing some top stitching and a stitched hem. For the skirt, you have pleats and a high-low hem. Uh, wrong uh, side of the, the skirt on the lower part of the hem is going to show, so you need to make sure you pick, uh, pick your fabrics um, accordingly for that. It also calls for fabrics such as twill, linen, and car fabrics, and sateen, and you will be also um, using a lining fabric possibly for your for view A and then also view C. It calls for an invisible zipper for your closure for the skirt. Um, it's just a really nice pattern. It comes in sizes 6 to 14 and 14 to 22. I picked up the size 14 to 22. And, um, and it's figure flattering for these shapes here. And I 
I'm dying to make the skirt. I really want to make the skirt and possibly the shorts before the summer end. I also picked up the Vogue V1890. I love this skirt. I really love this skirt. It's very unique. Um, you don't really see a loose fitting skirt that have a front uh, fly, a front zipper fly, which I think is really fun. You also have some pleating um, up on the top front skirt as well. You have loop carriers that you're going to be putting on the waistband. You have different length variations for the skirt. Here's the art illustration here. I think this is going to be very easy for a Vogue pattern. I think it's going to be simple for your advanced beginners. Um, the skirt is a flared skirt. You have a contoured waistband and um, as I stated before, button fly for your closure. And it's just, it's on a, I think it's a phenomenal little skirt there. You have um, for your fabric suggestions, uh, linen, royal twill, broadcloth and chalet fabric. I also think you could probably use a sateen. You can use a poplin. You could possibly even use a, um, a rayon uh, blend fabric. I think this is going to be very versatile depending on the type of style you're looking for for your skirt. I think you can use um, a number of different fabrics for this. The two indie patterns that I picked up from Fabric Mart Fabrics is, um, so I picked up the Sew Over It Confident Beginner Pussy Bow Blouse and the size range is six to 20. Here's the finish measurements here. So yeah, for finish measurements, I probably would be able to uh, do a size 12 here and that would give me about two, maybe three inches of ease there because my finished bust measurement measures at about 39. So yeah, that'll give me about three inches of ease. I really like this style. Um, of top here, you have uh, three different versions here. I'm sorry, you have two different versions here. That's the back view. So you have um, a keyhole opening, I believe this one is. And then this one, you're just basically extending the tie all the way down to the V. But this one has a keyhole opening. You have a cuff, your sleeve. Um, you're going to be gathering the lower edge of your sleeve and um, attaching a cuff on, as you can see. The front is cut out twice, so it's not on fold. The back is cut on fold. I think it's really simple. It will be um, really easy, I think. Um, this is saying for a confident beginner. So I think this is going to be a really fun pattern. Um, it doesn't say, oh, here's the fabric rec recommendations here. It's light to medium weight woven fabrics with lots of drapes, such as rayon, viscose, crepe, sheen, sand wash, silk, and uh, crepe. So it's saying that you will need um, two 8 to 12 millimeter buttons. So yeah, I really love this. Um, I think the two buttons are going to go on your cuff there. But you can really omit that too if you want. So yeah. I really like this and I thought I would try this. I have the Lottie blouse, which is similar to this, but I think this is going to be um, a little bit more in terms of, it's going to give me more room to work with. With the Lottie blouse, I think it went up to a size, I think I'm going to say a size 18 or 20, but the, the finished measurements, you didn't have as much ease as you have with this um, here. With the Lottie blouse, I think it was like uh, 43, 41 was the finished measurement. I like to, to be able to have additional room in, in my blouses. So I think this is going to serve me best. I also picked up the Sasha trousers by Closet Core Patterns. I've been eyeing this pattern for several years now. And I finally decided to just go ahead and and get this uh, here pattern. Now, I was on the fence about getting this because I also picked up that Vogue pattern. Let me show you what that looks like. So I wanna go ahead and try both of these and compare both of these and see if I like the commercial pattern over the indie pattern or the indie pattern over the commercial pattern. So um, that's one of the reasons why I picked both of these up. But as you can see, the style lines are pretty 
much the same. You still have your mock fly. You have your slanted pockets for the trousers, for the Sasha trousers. For view A, you have your slanted pockets. For view B, if you don't want to put pockets on, you don't have to put your pockets on. Um, and then the fabric suggestions are two-way stretch woven fabrics with at least 20% cross stretch. So you're going to be using fabrics that have at least two to three percent lycra in it. And these are going to be fabrics like your stretch denim, your twill, your stretch suiting fabrics like gabardine, those types of things. And then for your lining, you're just going to use a basic cotton fabric for view A. It's saying you would need about two and three quarter yards of fabric on a 45 inch white fabric. And for a 58 inch white fabric, you'll need about two yards of fabric. For view B, you're going to need about two and a half yards of fabric on a 45 inch white fabric. And for your 58 inch white fabric, you're going to need about one and three quarter yards of fabric. So I think one of these views are crop. It's very similar. I want to see how the two um, compare to one another. And so that's why I picked these up. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and talk about fabrics. And I am going to start with the fabrics that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. Now I saw this piece here last year. Um, and it came out in Joanne's la uh, Joanne's fall collection last year. And I was on the fence about it then. And I thought, oh, this is such a beautiful, gorgeous fabric. This year it went on sale in the spot check at my local Joann's and it was an additional 40% off. So I got this piece for, I believe it was $5 a yard or $6 a yard or something like that. And I picked up two, two yards of it. So I was really excited to have gotten this piece for $12 for two yards. So I was really excited about that and I have no idea what I'm gonna make with it. I just absolutely love the drape of the fabric. It's a polyester fabric and it has um, a really nice smooth silky face to the fabric and it has a really fluid drape. So I really like it. I think a really nice skirt would be cute with this or a simple um, dress, maybe a, a shift dress, not a shift dress, maybe a maybe a looser um, fitting dress, not quite a tunic, but not quite like a sheath dress, I think would be really cute with this. In Joanne's uh, remnant section this past week, it was an additional 75% off. So I was really happy about that. And this is another piece that was in last year's fall collection. And it's a, if you can see here, it is a print that has blue fall leaves on it. So you have a really light blue and also a darker navy blue. Uh, fall leaves going throughout the print and on the background it is a soft baby blue um, background and this piece was a dollar for a yard of fabric so I was really happy with that um, I think I can get a skirt a really simple skirt out of that or a top especially if I combine this fabric with this piece here so this was also in the remnant section for a dollar and this is a polyester fabric that has a, a semi satin face to it. So it's more of a matte on the face of the fabric. So it's not so shiny, but it is like a satin. It's polyester. So you have like this, this um, stiff backing on it. But on the, on the face of the fabric, it is very soft but it has a mat on it. So you don't see that, that shine that most satins have on it. So I think that this would be a perfect combination with this here. Like if I made a skirt out of this and I could put a band on the bottom with this, or I could make a sash out of this to go with the skirt. I thought it would just be just a really cute idea. I picked up this stretch denim fabric. It's a black stretch denim fabric. And um, I picked this up from Joanne Fabrics. This was also in the spot check area. And I believe I paid $7 a yard and I got two and a half yards of this. And 
I think I might use this for either the Sasha pants or for um, some other denim pair of pants that I want to make. Maybe the Butterick pattern that I showed you all earlier. So I think that pattern would be um, something that I could actually make with it or either this pattern here um, or I can even make it with the Vogue pattern here. So either one of these patterns I think would go really well with this here. I picked up two pieces of fabric from Fabric Mart and it's um, this floral piece here. So I picked up four yards of this and this actually is on a 44 inch wide fabric. I usually don't get 44 inch wide fabrics or 45 inch wide fabrics just simply because a lot of the projects that I'm working with, I need to have wide fabrics. Uh, but this is so gorgeous. I love this pattern. I love the pattern of uh, the leaves on this background. Oh my goodness. And the background is just so beautiful. It's such a beautiful fabric. This is a cotton sateen. And as you can see, it has a really soft drape. It doesn't have a stiff drape. It doesn't really behave like a cotton sateen. Uh, this is just such a cool fabric. And so much so that I think I am going to get some more of this fabric. Um, it's like I said, it's not very wide, but it's a beautiful, beautiful fabric. So I was really excited and pleasantly surprised when I saw this. Um, it looks even better in person than it does on the Fabric Mart website. It's just such a beautiful fabric. I would make a top with this, a skirt with this, maybe a matching set or a dress. This, this is just such a beautiful fabric. I wish it was on a wider fabric, but I can still get something out of this. And I think I am going to be sewing with this pretty soon because I absolutely love this fabric. And with that said, I would say that this is probably one of the best fabrics that I picked up from Fabric Mart Fabrics. It's just the color, the feel of the fabric, the drape. Um, I just love this fabric, really love this fabric. Now here's the second piece that I picked up from Fabric Mart Fabrics. Now, when I chose these two pieces, I thought this was going to be my favorite piece because on the monitor, the gray just looks so much more rich than it does in person. And I ended up loving the first piece that I just showed you more than this piece. However, with that said, I still do love this. It's um, a really great fabric here. It's also on a 44 inch wide fabric. It's a cotton sateen, gray background, and then you have floral as you know, floral design as your print here. And as you can see, you have all these gorgeous, gorgeous colors going throughout the fabric here. And it's also very soft, have a very soft drape, and it has a really nice um, face to the fabric as well. It feels very smooth. It's a really great fabric. So yeah, I love this fabric too. I would probably make a matching top and skirt with this or a dress and I purchased uh, four yards of this as well. Okay, so lastly, I wanna share with you my Mood Fabric Haul. So the first piece I got from Mood is this piece here, which is a crepe de chine fabric. It's so soft and smooth, I really love it. It uh, has a black background and on the foreground you have all these beautiful floral designs. And I love florals, y'all. I just, it's one of my favorite designs for print fabrics. And this one does not disappoint. I got two, two and a half yards of this one. And this is on a, I want to say it's a 55 or 56 inch wide fabric here. Let's see here. Um, it doesn't tell me on the ticket, but I'm pretty sure that this is like a 55 or 56 inch wide fabric. It's such a gorgeous print and I would love to make a pretty dress with this, especially for the fall. Next, I picked up this beautiful cotton voil fabric. Now they call this a cotton voil, but I would say that this is between like a voil and maybe a poplin. 
it's not as transparent as most vols are you can probably even make a top or a skirt with this without actually lining it which i think is really nice um, i really love this print and the colorway of this this was in mood fabric cell selection and then they had at the time that i made this order they had an additional 20 percent off of the entire site because it was independence weekend and so i think i got this piece for like 7.99 a yard and i picked up two and a half yards of this i think a really nice uh top and a skirt would be really nice with this or a dress um, i like the really soft yellow for the background and on the foreground you have an array of different colors including blue pink green you even have um some uh like a, a, a dark magenta you have a peach a peach color so it's just a really nice rich uh, fabric and i really like it so that's why i picked that up one of my favorite fabrics that i picked up from my mood fabric haul is this beautiful floral fabric here that is like a hawaiian uh print here it is on a black background and it's a vol but again it's I, I really think that you can actually make a dress or a top without having to put like a lining under it, but you can put a lining under it, I think, but it, it doesn't really need it. I don't think because of the dark, rich black background. However, if you want to have more body to your skirt or you want to have just another layer because you want to wear it late into the fall or something like that, I would definitely say go ahead and put a lining under it. But I don't think that you need a lining for purposes of uh, transparency. So I really, really love this here. It's one of my favorite, favorite prints. And I decided to get that as well. Next, I picked up this piece here, which is a really beautiful cotton sateen fabric here. And I think I got two and a half yards of this. And when I saw this, I thought, hey, I can make a, a pair of pants or I can make a skirt, maybe a pleated skirt. This is just such a beautiful, cool fabric. As you can see, you have like this watercolor uh, print on a really soft uh, peachy cream background it's just such a beautiful fabric and you have uh, purple you have a uh, really soft pink really soft uh, peach colors throughout the fabric which I think is really cute I really like the watercolor uh, type print here which is really cute and um, again it's a cotton sateen so it's a little bit um, heavier than the balls it has some stretch in it and I think, like I said, a really cute uh, pleated skirt or a gathered skirt or even a pair of pants, um, close fitting pants would be really cute with this particular fabric here. Lastly, I picked up this uh, navy blue and pink polka dot fabric. This is a cotton sateen. I purchased four yards of this because I want to have a pair of pants as well as a skirt. So again, this has um, stretch in it. So it's a cotton sateen with stretch. And I think it's going to make a perfect pair of pants. I really love this fabric. I think my favorite thing about this fabric is the pink dots going throughout the fabric. It's on a dark background and I just love to play on light and dark colors. I always have. And so I think this would be a really great fabric for uh, a pair of like cigarette pants or a, uh, a really nice pencil skirt or even a pleated skirt. I think this would be really fun. So I purchased four yards of this and I'm thinking about trying to squeeze a pair of pants as well as a skirt and if I have something left over I would probably make that that uh, bra top from Vogue let's see if I can find that pattern so I could show you so I think this would be perfect so I would like to make um, the skirt with the top here and have like I said a button-up top underneath the bra 
or uh, make the bra and then make some pants or we'll see we'll see i have quite a bit of fabric here and so i think that i would be able to make a combination of different things with this which i think would be really cute so yeah, that is my haul for today. Thank you all for tuning in. If you liked the video, please make sure that you give it a big thumbs up. And if this is your first time and you enjoyed the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I hope you all have a happy and blessed sewing week. Until next time, stay creative, my friends. Bye.